Hey everybody, how's it going? It is Axel Grave, and I'm back with more reactions with an X. Super happy to get back at you with more of this One Piece. We are now on episode 981, and things are looking good. We're going to start moving into more action-packed stuff. I mean, obviously it's been action-packed. It hasn't been all that crazy anyway. But it really is going to be a, a lot more action-packed in a, in a lot of ways going on. Uh, there will still probably be a lot of heavy areas of exposition and flashback, just because that's how One Piece... And most typical week to week mangas are anime run, but you know, that's just the way it is. With that said, thanks to you again, as always, for everyone watching. If you enjoy, remember support the original content creator, Ichira Oda, the Goat of the God, because he makes a really good story and we should pay him the moolah. And uh, if you like watching us, remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. And you know, if you really like, check out our Patreon where you can uh, get some early and exclusive full access, no audio cuts, no video cuts. But with that said, we're gonna go ahead and get started. I uh, I'm excited for this. I no Jinbei. It's Jinbei, thick fish daddy. <laughs> Look, you might not like it, but that's for me. That's who Jinbei is, thick fish daddy. He leaps right into his arms. He's such a kid. <laughs> Even this one, he's like, yeah! <laughs> I did learn from my last one going back that Jimbei did get a, a bounty increase in between, like, Marine Ford and everything. But he really got us. Uh, it was kind of soft. <laughs> you go, gotta hug him so hard. No, wait, wait, wait. Now, sake is not too strong. No. Sake's smell. I smell booze. Where are you from? Here. Huh? Ik het is een booze hound. Ah ha 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 ha. From Onigashima. Onigashima no ho da na. Temai ni nani ka. Haru nan da? Oi! Rui da na! I like that. That's a cool shot. They might not appreciate the work that goes into that. The most. I know they're the musketeers, but what was it of? Shishimion, right? Captain of Dog Stars, yeah! Dog Store Musketeers, that's it. And Shishilian. Shishilian. That's cool. Thank you. Hiyogoro, the flower. Yeah, alright. Okay, yeah, I thought it was just a zipper. Yeah, this is actually smart, though. Is, I mean... It's really a very poorly par plan. It's very simple. I mean, it's not that it's not a plan, but it's not a good plan. It's two steps is not a plan. No other plans. No real plan. This is a plan. How you anticipate the enemy's movements, fame, more than two steps. Yotteotedori. Oh, 
He really does have a pretty impressive ability. Like, Law's got one of the most OP. Right? Yeah, a, yeah. The most OP abilities. I like how he said it. Stare. He steered out of the way. I like how they're doing a little more on that. He goes back into the flow of the water to pick him. Wow, I never thought about this stuff, but this is actually really cool. This is giving me ideas for my own writing and stuff, as always. Look at that. And he does have a really cool design for the uh, anchor. It's something that uh, can get, like, when, if you drop that in the sea, right, it'll drop down and sink in. But if you can yank it up with enough force, you pull it right out. Unless they're really giving him invisible hockey now. That would be really, honestly, not bad. Like, because I've enjoyed... Whoa! Okay, I love his little... Here, here, we're gonna do... I don't do this much in one piece, but we're gonna do this. Look at his little graphic. It's him grabbing a piece of meat. Probably from across the table, right? Like, so he's going around food. So that's really dope. They better do that for everybody, I swear. Yeah, they're gonna do it for everybody. They're going straight to Zoro. This is gonna be dope. It's gonna be a sword and something else. I don't know. Right? It's gotta be the swords, right? Oh! Look at the colors! Notice that the uh, Odin's one? Hawk wave. Notice. Oh! The fucking animation, boys! The color schemes. The, the, ooh! And. Oh, he just got a little like metal plate they should have made it like more of a sword but it was cool oh they, they they took that out of ruby that's that's a ruby cop come on I, i'm sure other things have done that i think sailor moon is actually the first one to really do that stuff but they did a, a good job boom move boys and girls oh my god they're so big like they're like Probably bigger than giant's feet on it. Nah, maybe giant's feet size. That's cool with the flowers. That was a good one. She really is. That was real smooth. Good. That was a good one for him. Yes! Oh my god, this end piece makes up for all the flashback. I don't even give a shit. <laughs> They're not even gonna go. Come on, guys. I want to see yours, too. I think we got everybody else. Uh, no Jinbeis. Where's Jinbeis? I guess we got a big Jinbei last time. It's probably gonna be it, right? Bam, yo. I know how they do it. I I'm not surprised anymore most of the time an episode ends. Whoa, what the hell? Oh, okay, so something just fell over. I was like, fuck. All right, uh, well, thank you guys for watching. That was a really cool thing to do at the end of the episode with the title cards. It doesn't... I know it probably doesn't seem like much, I guess, but I don't know. I really appreciate individualized stuff like that. Um, even little things like earlier when like you see Ken yelling through his hand, there was just some... They really stepped it up on perspective and then stuff, other things on animation. Obviously, it's probably not the highest tier animation out of all these animes nowadays coming out with such great stuff from like Mappa and and Mad Dog and everybody but it is so good to see it and it's so it goes so well with the style the coloring the extravagance the ridiculousness it's something that really only a show like One Piece can get away with right you can't do that in Cowboy Bebop or even really Naruto too much like a little you get some of these comics but the color scheme and stuff does not like or, or r ridiculousness on some of the animation does not lend itself always to this to the more 
serious style that uh, Naruto and others have, right? Like, One Piece does have a very cartoonish comic book almost style, and because of that, it is flexible, I guess is the best way to put it. Um, and I really like it. I mean, there's so much good about it, and once again, I've been going back and watching some of my favorite um, universes and, you know, reading more Marvel, DC, Lord of the Rings, One Piece, this, 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 and that, and... I always find myself gravitating once again back to One Piece because it is just such a well-written story in so many different regards. And once again, in different ways than all these other stories are, right? Each story has its own unique strength. But, oh man, I'm so, I've been enjoying it a bunch. If you guys want to talk with me, you know, about it, come and check out the Discord. We can chat there. You can chat in the comments on YouTube. As always, support the original content creator. I like to say it at the beginning and the end because it's your Oda deserves our, you know, love. And, uh, you know, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, just real quick, takes like two seconds, just click, 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 one or not. And if you didn't, tell me why, you know what I mean? Let me know how I can improve or just tell me I have an ugly face or I'm dumb and my opinions don't matter because they don't. And uh, I hope you enjoyed watching. I'm Axel Grave. This has been Reactions with an X, One Piece.